Let's see how we go about writing a program that's going to flash a red LED. Now we can create this program from start by going up here and saying new program, but a quicker way is to actually take one of your existing programs and say clone. And what we're going to call it is lab 4A. And what we can do is actually take that and let's rename that to lab 4A.cpp. We have a lot of the pieces of code that we need here. We've got a programmer's block and we can do is change the description so we can get rid of all of the stuff that we don't need. And this is where we're going to start creating our code. To be able to write code to drive an external device such as an LED, we have to be able to go to Embed and find the right API to do that. So let's switch back here to Embed. Let's go to Documentation, Embed OS, and let's go down to API References and Tutorials. Now, out of the full API list, what we really need are input-output drivers. And of all these, the one that makes the most sense is Digital Out, because we want to digitally output to our LED to turn it on and off. If we click on this, it's going to come up with a Digital Out class reference. And the most important thing that we have to do is this line here. We have to say Digital Out, give it an arbitrary pin name of our choosing, and then actually give it the physical pin that this arbitrary name is going to be associated with. And this time we're going to go under Hardware and Boards. And the quickest way to find our board is to go to Peleon Ready and scroll right down to the bottom and click on our Freedom K64. At this point we can go down to Board Pinout. And we can see here that the red LED is connected up to port B, pin 22, which is very specific to this particular microcontroller, the Freedom K64. However, if we want to be more generic so that this same code will work on all 160 plus boards, we can use the generic term LED1 all in uppercase. What we have here, there are include section we're going to put in here, hardware definitions. And the first thing we're going to put is digital with a D, capitalized, O, or capitalized. And you can see over here over to the right, it's even reminding us of what the format is. Now it's a little different than it shows here. In terms of this, we're going to give it a name that we think makes sense. And this is arbitrary. I'm just going to say RED underscore LED. Then we're going to put a bracket and put in here LED1 capitalized. And when we compile that, you can see that it will indeed compile. So we've got our syntax right. Plus, it's going to work on 160 plus different boards. Now, at this point, we can go into our main line and we can say basically red underscore LED equals zero. And we should actually put in some comments here as well. Let's put in that red underscore led is connected to PTB22 or LED1. And down here, if you remember how this works, this is a zero turns it on. So this is going to be turn on red led. And down here, we're going to say wait 0.5. And then what we can do is just copy this, control C, and paste it, control V, and just change this to be a one where it's going to turn it off. And up here, if we want to do this forever, we can just put in a loop above this, put in a right bracket, and that should be our code. Let's try compiling this first, and it's quite happy. Let's try downloading and running it.